Now we'll talk about integrating base b exponents. Now earlier we saw this, the derivative with respect to x of b to the x is equal to b to the x times the natural log of b. We've already established that. Knowing that allows us to integrate exponential functions with any base. What I'm going to do is take this equation right here and rearrange it. And I'm going to write it like this, 1 over natural log of b times db to the x, that's this piece right here, equals b to the x dx. That is just this equation algebraically rearranged. Now I'm going to integrate both sides. And 1 over ln b is just a constant, so I'm going to put my integral right here. And on the right side, I have the integral of b to the x dx. Now I can do this. This right here, the integral of the differential of b to the x has to just be b to the x plus c. So let's rewrite it with that in mind. So the left side becomes 1 over ln b times b to the x plus c. And on the right hand side I have the integral of b to the x dx. Now remember what I was trying to do. I was trying to integrate a base b exponent. And there it is. The right hand side of this equation is what I'm looking for. The integral of b to the x dx is equal to this. 1 over ln b times b to the x plus c. So let's write that fact like this. The integral of b to the x dx, and that's what I'm trying to find, the integral of a base b exponent. The integral of b to the x dx, and I'm going to write it like this, equals b to the x over the natural log of b plus c. And there we have it. Now we'll come back to our reference page and fill in this. The integral of a base b exponent is b to the x over the natural log of b plus c. And we'll work a few simple examples here. The integral of 7 to the power of x dx is just 7 to the power of x over the natural log of 7. And of course we put in the plus c. The integral of 30 to the x dx is just 30 to the x over the natural log of 30 and plus c. The integral of 8 times 2 to the x, just remember that 8 is a constant multiplier. You could imagine bringing it out front of the integral. And the answer would just be 8 times 2 to the x over the natural log of 2 plus c. And the integral of e to the x dx, watch this, that's going to be e to the x over the natural log of e plus c. And note that the natural log of e is just 1. So this is just the same as e to the x plus c, which is what we already knew. The integral of e to the x is e to the x plus c. So we see that this concept of integrating a base b exponent is consistent with what we already know about integrating a base e exponent. Now the following pattern is worth noting. If we have this function y equals 3 to the x and we want to find the derivative, the answer is just 3 to the x times the natural log of 3. And if we have this function 3 to the x and we want to integrate it, the integral is 3 to the x over the natural log of 3 plus c. So we see when we're differentiating a base b exponent, we multiply by the natural log of the base and when we're integrating a base b exponent, we divide by the natural log of the base. And that's not too hard to remember. And now we'll go through some examples with these concepts. Okay, a few examples here. y equals 8 to the x. The derivative will be 8 to the x times the natural log of 8. Now the integral of 6 to the x dx will be 6 to the x divided by the natural log of 6. And we add the constant c. And then we have y equals 5 to the power of tangent x. Well, this will be a, a chain rule problem. Think of tangent x as our inner function. And we say 5 to the power of tangent x 
times the natural log of 5, then times the derivative of the inner function, which is the derivative of the tangent, and that is the secant squared x. All right, y equals 4 to the power of 3x. Well, dy dx will be 4 to the power of 3x times the natural log of 4 times the derivative of our inner function, which is just 3. And again, you could take these three factors and rearrange them if you need to. But this is the mathematically correct answer. All right, y equals 0.1 to the power of 0.01x. The derivative of that will be 0.1 to the power of 0.01x times the natural log of 0.1, the natural log of the base right there, times the derivative of the inner function, which is 0.01x. So the derivative of that is 0.01. And then down at the bottom, the integral of 20 to the x dx is just 20 to the x over the natural log of 20 plus c. Okay, a couple of examples that are just a little bit more difficult. This one up top is a definite integral. Although integrating it is not hard, the integral of 8 to the x dx is just 8 to the x over the natural log of 8. And we just have to evaluate that from 1 to 2. So this is going to be 8 squared over the natural log of 8 minus 8 to the first over the natural log of 8. And of course we could factor out the 1 over natural log of 8 if we wanted to. Or we could just do this 8 squared is 64 minus 8 will be 56. This is 56 over the natural log of 8. And you can compute that on the calculator. It comes out to about 26.93. So not too bad. And this one, the integral of 7 to the 2x dx is a little bit tricky. I'm going to do this. I see this 7 to the 2x, and I'm going to try this. I'm going to try differentiating 7 to the 2x. And if I get 7 to the 2x, then this is my answer. So let's differentiate. 7 to the 2x. Well, that's going to be 7 to the 2x times the natural log of 7. And then 2x is my inner function, so I have to multiply by 2. So I see that when I differentiate this, I do get a 7 to the 2x, but I also have this. I'm off by a factor of 2 ln 7. So to compensate for that, I need to uh, divide by 2 ln 7. So I'm going to think of this as 1 over 2 natural log of 7 times 7 to the 2x. Or you could write it as a single fraction. 7 to the 2x divided by 2 ln 7. And that's the answer. And if you're not sure of that, you can take the derivative of that. 2 times the natural log of 7 there, or 1 over 2 times the natural log of 7, is just a constant. I'm going to take the derivative of this right now, just as a check. Um, I'm, going to, I'm going to bring out the 1 over 2 ln 7, and then differentiate the 7 to the 2x, and that is 7 to the 2x times the natural log of 7 times 2 by the chain rule, and you can see all of that cancels out, leaving me with 7 to the 2x, which is exactly that. So this is the correct answer or this right here in a little more compact form. Now let's come back to our reference sheet that we've been filling in and there's only two things we don't have on here so far. The integral of the natural log of x and the integral of the base b log of x. And these are actually a little bit more advanced topics but I'm just going to state them here just for the sake of completeness. The integral of the natural log of x is x times the natural log of x minus x plus c. And the integral of the base b log of x is x ln x minus x, all of that divided by the natural log of b plus c. And if you want to verify that for yourself, you can simply take the derivative of this and you'll see that it is natural log of x. And you could take the derivative of this 
and you would see that it is the log base b of x. And that wraps up, at least for the moment, derivatives and integrals of exponential and logarithmic functions.